Hi guys, School here and welcome back to another Transport Fever 2 video and uh, we continue our exploits in our goal to get a billion dollars and connect all the cities up uh, which I'll come to in a second. So first of all, I just want to mention that if you want to play through or follow the series, don't forget to sub to the channel if you're not already subbed and in the video description is a link to this map and the mods we're using if you want to get set up and try this exact map uh, you feel free to do so. Instructions are in the description. Awesome description is a link to join the YouTube channel if you fancy supporting the channel. And thank you so much to the guys that have already joined. Great to see you all in Discord. And uh, we unlock some new emojis, which can be used in the uh, chat comments on the YouTube videos, which is cool. So you get access to lovely little uh, emojis that we've done. Anyway, so what do I mean? I had some comments, guys, uh, about this uh, goal of $1 billion. Uh, a few of you are kind of getting a little bit um, worried that we might be getting close to the goal and obviously you're enjoying the series and you don't want it to finish don't worry we're quite a way off this whole thing i think at the end of the last episode i had 600 million uh we've now down to 400 i was down to 300 not long ago uh, i've only just brought some money back I, i've spent a lot of money going around as i said at the end of the last video i've gone around and upgraded a bunch of roads. I've made sure our bus lanes are there. I've put a bus route in every single city. Um, this is something that kind of about this point in the game, you really should be considering doing. Just go around every city. Uh, there's not that many of them. Uh, just make sure that your bus routes are all going down uh, roads with bus lanes on them. Uh, consider putting some roads on the outside or upgrading some peripheral roads now because your, your cities will be growing. And as they grow when you've already got those those roads uh, in place, otherwise you're going to have to, you know, have buildings destroyed in order to upgrade things. So consider just going around your cities, making sure that your stops are in the right places because, you know, cities tend to grow, particularly with these mods, they'll grow asymmetrically. So what I mean by that is you've got your residential areas and you've got your commercial industrial. Well, depending on what's going on with the city, it will grow one sector more than another. So you might find, in this case, we've got a big residency area because we've got good road connections. Um, but, you know, because there's nothing going on with the uh, shipments of machines and goods, the commercial and industry is quite lacking at the moment. So be aware of this. Uh, in other cities, such as, say, Loughton, where we're bringing a lot of food in, uh, you'll find that um, this sector, the commercial sector, has grown and we're bringing a lot of fuel into the industrial sector has grown. Uh, and this city, you know, Lanton's one of our bigger ones now. It's a thousand, thousand people, which is quite a bit. If you, if you go down here to the town statistics, uh, you can basically sort by size and you can see what the size um, of the towns are like that. Uh, see what connections they've got. A lot of stats are here, which is quite cool. You can also see the growth and that kind of thing. Um, but the point is, you know, just go around every city. It took me about an hour. And what I also did was upgraded all of my vehicles so make sure all the buses are all kind of the latest fast ones high capacity same with the trucks upgraded all of those and it cost about 300 million which is a lot of money a lot of investment so to answer your question about the video ending i'm not just going to stop when we get to a billion dollars that would be quite easy all literally all i would need to do right now is hit fast forward and wait and we would get to a billion dollars that's not what this playthrough is about uh, we're going to make sure we grow all these cities quite nicely by the way, somebody asked about getting super cities. Like, could you have like a massive monster city? The game, as I understand it, has a hard cap on a city size. So as much as the mod will unlock these um, cities so they grow quite big, I think, I can't remember what it is, 3,000-ish, 3,500 population is about the maximum the game allows. It just hard caps it. So there's only so far you can go. Anyway, this video, what we're going to focus on. Well, a couple of things. First of all, I want to re have a re-look at this thing, the food processing plant over here at Aylsham. Um, it, it's not levelling up particularly quickly. It's still only on level two. There's a, you can see demand is just, just on the cusp of levelling up. Uh, but this supply chain obviously um, is reliant on a couple of trains feeding the alcohol from this plant here, in this distillery, which is also then reliant on the shipping. So there's quite a lot of money invested in here. You know, if this doesn't work as it should, then all these trains and ships start losing money. 
Uh, what I did was just by backtracking slightly, I noticed that um, the grain factory is completely tapped out. And as you can probably see, uh, ships are now queuing up to wait for stuff. So we've got a bit of an issue, right? So we need to start tapping this one. I've already put a, a truck station in place. I've defined uh, the line for it. So what we need to do now is just uh, this Mitchell Dean grain here. We just need to get some trucks. We'll buy a few vehicles, get some cargo. We've got a nice choice now. Don't forget, because there's a grain, we can use the dump truck. So we'll bring in like probably half a dozen should do it. I mean, they've got a fair capacity on these. And they don't really have particularly far to run. So we'll stick those on. Uh, and hopefully this will start to supply stuff. Let's just see what it does. Click on that. Make sure that's connected. Yes, it is. So hopefully these, this will start to produce some stuff. There it is. Consumers. Alcohol factory. So it's recognized that as a consumer. So that will start to flow in. We'll just have to come back later and make sure it's coping. But that will supply more grain, which is all it needs to get this thing going. But this, generally speaking, doesn't run out. The ships keep it quite adequately stored at the moment. But, as I said, we kind of need to go all the way downstream and get this leveled up. Now, at the moment, there's the big queue of trucks because there's only two train lines on this line here, bringing the alcohol in and, and creating the grain. Oh, there you go. It's about to go up now. So that will create a bit of a demand. So, yeah, it's waiting for, for stuff. These trucks are just slowly kind of loading like this. Um, the trucks going into Aylsham, you know, they're not really a big problem. Um, trucks going into Aylsham, they can do the thing. But the other trucks going all the way down here, uh, as I said to you, it is quite a way to go. Uh, I am considering replacing these with trains just because of the distance. Um, Princess Risper at the moment, its demand is growing. I think it's almost ready for trains, but not quite enough yet. That's not quite where I want it to be, um, but it is growing. However, what I've done is I've dropped a station outside of Princess Risper. Remember, we built this in the last video. So I've dropped both a cargo and a passenger. I think, looking at the, looking at the numbers here, I think we can probably stick a train line to move some packs up and down uh, as opposed to at the moment. Actually, we don't have any at the moment, do we? No, we don't. I thought we had a bus route. We don't even have that. So, yes, absolutely. What I want to do is connect this train station to this one and we'll get the bus route to drop off here. And that will allow packs to move between Elsham and Princess Risborough. And then later on, we can also reuse the same, um, the same track, if you like, and start bringing that that food down here rather than trucking it in so we built the train station already i'm just going to basically look at this platform layout and work out which is the cargo and which is the packs this is the packs one here just notice this station doesn't even have um a roof over the top of it we've got some miscellaneous like that we could even stick one of these on if you wanted to like that let's give them a direct way in and then we'll stick a little roof on as I mentioned in the last video, this is all just cosmetic. Later on, you get really nice, um, you get really nice kind of wavy roofs and things, really high tech stuff you can put in, and all the buildings turn a nice white color. So what I'll do is I'll nick this track here, this one, and we'll keep that one for our kind of northbound traffic, and we'll maybe actually we'll just pull this one, Let's pull that one, uh, tank truck and a flatbed truck. Okay, Isuzu. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll come into here, this track, this platform there, and we shall go this way. So we want to be coming in to this track here. So if we drag that out, actually we'll go at my speed. If we drag that out and see where it comes out at. So it looks like if we connect that, if we connect that, it's absolutely horrendous. But that does highlight an interesting problem that if we want to keep this flat we have to tunnel through here and then bridge this over here because it's quite a that's quite an elevation change isn't it look at that blimey um i might keep that just because it kind of looks cool but i might change this we've got a bit limited at the moment i can't remember what year we get really cool bridges but we get some lovely ones later but we could go with a Maybe a, a nice green one for now, or bright yellow one, depending on you, what takes your fancy. Uh, green. Let's go. Let's keep keep it subtle. Two and a half million. That's peanuts for us, right? 
we'll do that and then we'll link in the other track oh one thing i didn't do was change oh, i always do that let me just delete that and redo it unfortunately once you've built a track and it's put the tunnel entrance in there there is no way to change it you can't just reconfigure it which i find very frustrating um let's go with that entrance i like that one there we go um yeah that looks much smarter doesn't it so we're coming to here we'll double track are we going to go south from here probably not in which case we'll link both of these like that and the lovely thing is once you've already built one track with the tunnel and the bridge it automatically follows the next one like so and then we will come out of here like that maybe not okay game's been a little bit awkward just notice that's got the uh the, the slow speed track as well we don't do that and then do that lovely right so i just need to upgrade this track so we'll do like that um we want to upgrade this something just upgraded click on configure go to track no hang on is it miscellaneous I'm trying to remember how we upgrade the track on the platform side entrance it's not this no we do it from this screen i'm sure we do tools there it is it's so weird there it is it's so strange isn't it like you go to track and you can upgrade the track outside of the platform but if you want to upgrade it in the platform it's in the track menu but it's under tools it's not <laughs> it's not in the configure button of the of this it's not under miscellaneous or upgrade it whilst you're configuring the station oh no it's somewhere else entirely um but i digress there we go so we just need to hook in a uh, depot somewhere i think maybe he will do so we'll drop that depot in spin that around and we'll just have it that kind of thing don't want to upgrade thank you and then we'll just go in like that that'll do it okay so that's the packs which is good so the only thing we need to do is create the diamond and then do the signaling so we'll create the diamond first oops I pressed the wrong button right signals one way yes uh, 400 meter spacing and just after the diamond part of first one down which will only go up to the join here so we need one just before the join because the the signal mod won't go past the join uh, and then we'll do one immediately after so like here and then it will or it should put the rest in there you go and then all we do is come back here find the last one um which is there so we we'll put one going back the other way so we get all of our signals coming back the other way and then finally we'll just turn off the auto sig and just put one before and one just after like that and we're done that's all the signaling done right next thing to do is define the line and then we need to make sure that the buses are actually stopping here at the bus stop because otherwise you know they're not going to ever get on the train are they so ocean buses will need to be amended that will send the buses on a much longer route than they're currently on. Oh, actually, they're already on that route, aren't they? They're already on that route. Ignore me. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do, let's see, we're going Ailsham down to Princess Risborough. So we'll do a new line. Ailsham Princess Pax. That's, and we'll do a, a green colour. And we'll go, remember to click on the um, pack symbol not the cargo symbol so click on the pack symbol from here and then the pack symbol here that defines the line then we just need to make sure that the buses can get to and from this station here which it looks like they can we've got a bus what i might do is i might do a dedicated um packs drop off for this rather than amend this one because they, these are quite far away so i'd rather keep that circuit going and then we'll just have an intersection between these. So where we've got Princess uh, Risper buses, we'll have a new line and we'll say uh, Princess uh, 
train station buses which is like a direct service we'll color that a purplish color and then we'll go between the and now if we're coming down here on the right side we could stop here and then here possibly nope that's rubbish let's do that again the other way around we will go to here and then back around to the and we'll change it from purple because there's a lot of clashing going on. There you go. So it comes along like that, stops here, stops that. That will intersect with those two, which allows passengers to change, take a trip over uh, to the train station and get on a train. You get the idea. So we just need to buy a few tr uh, buses and stick them on the line. So we'll click on that. Passenger will buy two or three shuttle buses. I don't think we need any more. I'm not anticipating any... I think it'll, it'll be a loss leader, pretty much. So we'll do that. Then we'll just have a quick look at this one. Did we want to do the same thing on this one? What we could do is the moment they're taking a long trip. So instead, what we could do is drop in a bus stop here. Like, actually, we could go... If we put one there... And then one there like that. What we could do is we can amend the Aylesham buses. So after Church Street, instead of going back to Aylesham Sidings, which is a horrible name for a back station, we'll go, instead of doing that, we'll go to here. So we'll just add that one. So it's a circuit. And then I might just hunt that bus stop over slightly to there. Well, now, hang on. What we'll do is look, we'll upgrade the road. This is having a knock-on effect. We'll upgrade these roads here so that the bus can loop a bit better. There you go. So that way it's sticking on a bigger loop now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, and then what we'll do is Aylesham buses will have another dedicated Aylesham train station buses. And we'll colour that, I don't know, we'll colour that uh, bluish. And we'll go from here, and that will stop there and there. And that way the passengers can basically get off here, walk there, and get the bus. Uh, so that's a nice loop for them. So we've got two lots of buses. Let's stick the buses on the route again. Three of them will do. Nice blue color. There we go. Right. That's that bit of faff done. So now we just need to buy a passenger train. We've got the line ready. We just need to buy a passenger train. So the question is, which one do we go for? Again, we could just stick some multiple units on there. Um, you know, these things tend to be quite cheap. So, you know, a couple of them will probably do it. We'll assign that to the green color and stick it on there like that. You know, they're quite an easy victory to run these things initially. Um, if the line starts to pick up, you can, of course, just upgrade them later. Uh, but we'll just speed up time a second and get that on its way. I want that to go a bit further down the line. And then we'll have a look at what the pack situation is. See if anybody starts appearing here. It will take time for this to get running. But hopefully... There you go. That's up there already. We'll do a clone on that now. Hopefully passengers will start to use the service. Uh, so we'll come back to that later. Let's have a look at what's going on here now. Because I know this upgraded, didn't it? So we'll just backtrack and see what's going on. So this just upgraded. That means this will have to supply, start to supply more stuff. So it's now upgraded, which means it will have a thirst for more grain, which is fine because we just brought another granny online. And the demand of that's starting to pick up, but our transport is non-existent for some reason. 0% transporter. Hang on, something's not right here. Something is not right, but I can't see what. Let's just see what happens with this guy. So there's a truck stop here. So when they drop off, it should go straight into there, because that's connected. But something's not working out. It's unloading it. I could see it appear there, I think. 
If I, if I click on that truck stop, it is most definitely connected to that port. So why is that saying 0% transported? Okay, that's a bit weird. Unless there's something... I've never done it this way before with a, a truck stop and a ship port. So unless there's something very strange not working with that. Normally I, I would build a, uh, a truck stop, but I just didn't see the point. But I think we're going to have to change this. For whatever reason. Let me just get rid of this road. And we shall flatten the ground. And then we'll drop in a... Maybe you guys have seen the problem, because I don't know, just looking at it, I can't see what the issue might be. Um, but rather than faff about trying to figure it out, I think I'll just... This will be an unload point, so we don't need to worry about the length of it. Entrance, exit... One way in, one way out. Get rid of the signals. Uh, we'll change this so Michelin Grain instead of going there. Okay. So it shouldn't load anything at all. It should just completely unload when it gets there. Okay, let's see what happens. If I click that, it's definitely connected to this thing. How strange, what is going on? He's got no grain either. I think, to be honest, actually, I think I might have just made a mistake. I think I may have just um, made a mistake. <laughs> I know what happened, and I'm sure you've already written your comments about this. So what's happening? Uh, it's just thrown me, I should have thought this through. What's happening is it's reporting that we haven't transported anything, right? And the reason is, is because it hasn't yet made it to this distillery. It's probably, like, some of it is probably on that ship, but it's not yet got here. Until it gets here, it doesn't count it as delivered. So even though, even though technically we've delivered it to here, we've not delivered it to the consumer. And that's what it's tracking. So what I just did there was ignore me. I'm having a dumb moment. I should have thought that through, but that, it's, you know, it's easily, it's easy to get confused by that. Um, it was indeed shipping it. It just wasn't transporting it to the destination and counting it in that bar. So yeah, I just felt foul of that. Anyway, so we've got more grain online. It's definitely moving it. That should upgrade. Looks like it's good. We'll focus our attention somewhere else for a bit. What I want to do now is focus on this guy down here, this Conmat factory. Let's just see what's going on here. So the Henley Conmat train is in. 156. Finances are looking okay. Uh, in comes the stone train. He's not full. That could be a tell. He's almost maxed out, but the demand is not yet maxed out. I'm wondering if we can supply another city with this. Like, can he support three cities? I don't know. We're already supporting this one. Sorry, can he support four? He's got Twickenham, Hyde, and Henley on Thames. And the question is, can it support four cities? I, I'm thinking not. I was hoping it would, but the problem is these cities are growing. And if it's, if it's almost maxed out now, to me, that means, you know, once these cities get a bit bigger, it will be fully tapped out. So I don't think we should bring... I was thinking about linking down to Sandhurst though, with that, but I don't think we'll bother. I think we'll have to find another way of doing it. But what we can do is just quickly look at what the, the stone situation is. Because uh, I don't know if the stone train is... Oh, that one's full. Finance is good. So the supply of that is not maxed out yet. These guys are waiting for the materials, which is absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking about hitting up that one. But I don't think we will. 
However, we probably do need to bring some more combat in because Sandhurst needs them for a kickoff. Uh, Henley on Thames may need more. Are there any more cities that need it? Just looking around. Uh, Thatcham is getting zero. And Aylsham is getting zero. Okay, yeah. All right, so what we've got here now is Sandhurst, Aylsham, and Thatcham all need Conmat. So what I'm going to do is have a quick look around and see if we can get a bit crazy with this. Right, I had a look around because I was thinking about doing something a little bit crazy um, <laughs> to get Conmat over here. Uh, but I kind of had a look around and worked it out. And um, it's not... We're not quite ready for it. Because the reason is, like, this here, we could generate combat from this, but it means bringing the stone from over here because this is the only place where stone is on the map. So we can do that, but it's going to be a real slog to get stone all the way down here, probably by ship and train combo. That's a lot of effort. Um, we could fly it in, but then the planes are flying stone in and not getting paid on the way back, etc. Uh, there is actually another uh, factory down here that does combat. And the problem with this one is it needs either slag or sand or marble and stone. So when we still have to get the stone out down here. So what I think I might do is I might wait for now. We're not going to take Conmat into these two cities. They're already getting food, so they're growing anyway. Because we will supply them with Conmat later when we start to generate slag and sand. Because slag and sand are generated as, as byproducts by some uh, uh, other industrial uh, processes, which we're not doing yet. This one here, for example. This one generates steel and slag. See? So when we start generating steel, which we'll need to do, probably maybe in the next video we'll start doing steel, because we need to start thinking about doing some more complicated products, such as tools and goods and this kind of thing. So when we generate steel, we'll get the slag, then we'll use that to generate combat to supply them later. But for now, I spotted that we have a major passenger issue going on that has been kind of brewing under the HUD. Um, and it's been generated by some of these bigger towns, you see, because Lee and Romsey and Loughton are quite big now. And as you can see, that we're just not coping. Like we've got a four minute frequency bus service and there's a huge queue for people trying to get from Lee bus station uh, all the way up to the Romsey bus station, which is here. Maybe they're going on an onward journey, but there's, you know, there's plenty of demand for a bus route here. Uh, so that's, you know, Lee to, Lee to Romsey is, is definitely something that needs trains to move things between. The problem is that Romsey's bus station is on this southeast side and Lee is on the west side, so it's a bit awkward to try and link that with the train. But equally, Loughton is huge, like it's grown to 1,200, and south of it, Bradford is almost on 1,000, and Bradford has a similar issue. It has, so no, Brad, not Bradford doesn't have a similar issue, but what I've got is a train station here, and I've put a train station at Lee over here, and what we're gonna try and do is start getting our train packs lines going. Mitchell Dean, I don't think is quite ready it's only 600 but by having that train station though we can link there later but what we want to do is we want to try and either get passengers from Blountain to Romsey or from Romsey to Lee via train because this this is a big issue right now uh, so if we come in and put a train station here can we link it all the way up to Loughton that's that's the main question and if we put a train station here what's that going to mean for Lee well, Lee and Romsey are probably never going to have a direct train connection just because of the way things have developed, uh, which kind of mirrors real life, really. Like, you know, just because of the topology of the ground, what develops were, um, you know, it's not easy to get a train line in here that uses our existing train stations. Oh, the 737 just came in. And this is the other option, is we can actually start flying people around um, and making a better money. Uh, I know you guys probably want to get some planes in, so... The problem with planes is you need to make sure you've got a decent distance. Oh, they're actually shrinking. Blimey. <laughs> That's not good. Um, you need to get a good distance because planes take a while to take off. Uh, so you kind of want them to go at least half of the map in order to get, make good money. Uh, so I don't think we're quite ready for that yet. But I think what we can do is up at Loughton, we've got a nice station here. We could basically get some packs in. 
Uh, the problem is the pack's line is there and the car goes on the inside track. So if you want to take that track out, we're going to have to move the uh, have to move the pack's lines over to that side, if you see what I mean, so that we can come out down this way with the... Sorry, the cargo lines move over so we can get the passengers down south. So then the question is, well, if we put a train station here, will we punch through there? Or do we build a new train, st train station over this side? Or do we try and reuse what's going on here down at the down at the Romsey factory? You know, we could hook into that, but it's not particularly pleasant. We could put another train station on the west side, or we could just put one here and, you know, probably sink these roads in a tunnel and just go up that way. And I think that's probably the easier option. So what we'll do is we'll first just break this. So I'll pause the game a second. Um, because what we need to do is add a cargo platform on that far side. What have we got there at the moment? We've got a track there. So we need another track on that side. And then we'll bring a cargo platform in. And then just for good measure, we'll stick another track in. And that'll do that. And then we'll break this temporarily. Of course, the game will complain wildly. And we'll move it further back so we can come in and keep the speed of the track up. We will have to put all these signals back. That's the thing. Uh, is that enough? Just go back a little bit more. And then we'll just quickly smooth that out. And we're using the slower track, so we'll stick with that for now. And what we want to do is make our way over to one of these. We may as well take... that one that's a cargo isn't it yeah crikey that's a valley isn't it blimey okay we'll take that one and then we'll bring the second track in so part there and then we'll pinch it over like that and then we'll just smooth that out and then the only thing we need to do is put the signals back so we'll go to track signal on way Around about there ish. That will do. I check with the line. Okay, that's not hooked in. Which means we need to reconfigure the line. So we'll have a quick look at the line. That must be the this one here. Cannot connect to all stations. So I think what it's done is it's not got the right platform number. So if we click on here, we should be able to choose platform four. And there you go. That's the red arrow has gone away. We'll press play and carry on. So it was just a matter of telling it which platform to come in because it just couldn't work it out, basically, which is fair enough. So what we'll do now is we'll just delete this better road in here. Because we want to put track down there. Like so. And then we will need a train station over here. Now, just before we build the train station, I'm just going to make a little bit bigger and then what we'll do is we'll create a little road you see the little footpaths connecting there like that and then we'll come in with the train station which will be a PAX one that should neatly connect up to that now like so and then we'll smooth that out now, so the, the big thing here is uh, is how to get the line through this uh, this junction without slowing the trains down too much. Now, given the way things are heading out here, what we could do is just keep the keep the aspect of the line going that way and then turn it in here. And then all we have to do is just sink these this bit of road, which is quite easy to do. So I think that's what we'll do. And if we're, if we're doing that, we're going to be coming through here. And what we could then do is just join the track there. So it looks quite nice as well. Uh, so what we need to do is pause it. And then we'll delete this track here, which will, of course, interrupt the, the main connections. Uh, let's get rid of that one as well. And we'll ditch that one. Smooth that out temporarily. Now, this is already on a tunnel. So what we'll do with this one is we'll just knock it back a bit further. Oh, scumbag game. <laughs> I deleted the wrong piece of road. Um, let's do that. Right. 
like I say, if you delete that, it isolates vehicles there, and then you can't delete this one. You have to delete this one first and work backwards. I did tell you that in one of the very early episodes, but I just misclicked. So what we'll do now is bring our track in, and we'll go with the high-speed track. And we'll just define where this needs to go. So if we perhaps go like that. That looks pretty good. So we'll do that, and then we'll go back to the road building. And this will have to be deleted back a little bit, because we have to sync now. Um, so this one will go, needs to connect to that one, though, doesn't it? So if we do that. Okay, game. If we do that, and then press the N key to sync it down. And then we can press Shift M just to bring it up a little touch. then we'll change it to that entrance type and we'll click go then we can bring this one in so let us go. bring that one in and just link that underground like that and i'm going to turn those lights off before i forget and then we need to link this one into here so this is six lane like that um hmm. we could we could link it up do you know what? I might just upgrade that road while we're here. Except I'll make it a town one so they can build on it. And then I think what I might do is just delete that road back completely and have a section like that. And then we'll check that on our line network. It's still definitely an error. Thatch into Romsey. See the problem? missed a bit okay i don't like that slope so we'll delete that back a touch more okay that's got rid of all the problems and the line connections look good apart from there's nothing here but i think maybe it wasn't there before so we'll unpause it and then we'll just quickly smooth that out there you go and then we'll carry on building the track. So this one is going to go more or less in a straight line to about here. Then what we'll do is we'll we'll build a piece of track. And then we'll build another piece of track. And we'll use that second one to connect to this one like that. Now... It's saying that we're going to slow the trains down to 252 maximum. That's not a problem currently, but I would prefer not to do that because we've got the space. So what we'll do is we'll just go a bit further back. And we'll try again. There you go. And that keeps a full 300 just because the curvature is slightly less. So always keep your eye on stuff like that. Because later on, you know, it will slow your train down. We don't need 300 yet, but later on you will. And that's not snapping. I think it's because of the terrain differences. I oh, can't believe I've got a steam train. I need to look at some of these trains. Right, that's going into a PAX platform. But if you notice, there's already a pack step. That's fine. We're gonna we'll just use the other platform. Oops, it doesn't like that. Train 29. I th ah. Let's just turn. Let's turn around. You click that button there. You just click on the train to reverse. What's happened is, we've just come in with a piece of track, and connected to a station while a train is in the station, and the game for whatever reason sometimes gets really confused. Like the AI train just goes whoa. What did you just do to the station, man? I don't know what to do anymore. And it's literally, yeah, just just carry on, bro. Seriously. It's a bit weird, but it's one of the one of the aspects of the game. Right, we'll take that second one now. Come this way. Now what we want to do with this line is basically try and get a nice high speed line going connect that all the way in there. Got a nice high speed line going so we can make good money. Now, packs love a fast line. So we'll 
diamond that in and then we'll do the same over here but yeah what i want to do uh what i want to do next really is start moving into this more complex industry stuff because remember i said to you at the start of this series when you're starting out just keep it all simple just keep with a simple um industries that's the way to go but now we're getting to the point where we have to start considering all the other towns uh, and all the other towns want wait did i just click waypoints what an idiot hang on can i click remove remove that thank you clicked on waypoints for the signal forward no not reverse there we go. That, that was my mistake. Human error right there. Uh, that's coming all the way to here. So one there. We'll put one there. And we are golden. Right, so now we just need to figure out how we're going to get stuff in. So there is actually a depot here which can put stuff on this track. But there's no way to get from this track to this track. Now we've got two choices. We either create a crossover track so that you can get from here to here or you just build another depot. And frankly, I'm just going to build another depot because it's just a lot easier. So what we'll do is we'll stick another depot in just down here somewhere. And we'll put it near that. For now, because unlikely to do anything here. And um, we'll just feed it in and that keeps life nice and simple. And then the only thing you need to do is go in and put a signal just before the merges like that so that you know they, they can stop before they collide and then usually one just after but considering there's one here we'll just have that as a blocking area and that'll be fine right so we know we've got people here that want to go from Romsey to Lee um, nobody can currently go direct to Loughton but I think that'll change I think what's happening people moving to Thatcham maybe taking a bus to Romsey I think when we put this in it will alleviate some problems. Um, obviously, people going down to Lee, that's a that's a different issue. But Romsey to Thatcham, for example, you know, if they want to go and get the bus, I reckon they'll now take this journey instead. So let's find out. We're going to create new line, and we're going to go rail, and we're going to go Loughton to um, is it Romsey. Romsey. Well, oh, what have you done? Game plus. Romsey packs. There we go. And we'll just colour it green for now. See if we can get away with green. And then we'll go bar. And we'll go to packs one bar. Okay. So the question is, is what is the fastest train that we can come up with? Because that's kind of what we need right now. We've got a high-speed track. Uh, diesel multiple unit can go 90. We've got electric that can do 125. That's not a bad option. That's got a nine times loading speed. And you see that. So when, I, when I've seeded lines with these things, they only carry 20 people. You can tag them together. But bear in mind that loading speed. If you need to start shifting lots of people, this would be a good upgrade. I mean, it's a phenomenally more expensive to run per year. 450, half a million a year, 2.2 million a year. But obviously three of those, to get the capacity of about 60, you need three of these, that's one and a half million. This is 2.2 and its loading speed is way higher. So that's a good option. Um, let's have a look if we've got anything that can do more than one, two, five. We've got this, this thing can do 140 top speed but we're limited by our passenger cars and what are the passenger cars doing passenger cars can do 140 maximum if we go with the super quick ones with uh, only has a two times loading speed so mm, 140ks diesel electric this is literally the only thing that can do 140 right now pretty decent tractive effort if you want to get maximum speed this is the way to go so it's either that or we go with the something like the Mirage and just do 125, but load people a bit quicker. That's 2.2 million a year. It takes 60 people. We'd need 
one, three of them, which is 0.9, plus one of them, which is 2.1. That's $3 million a year just to go 140. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Quite a lot, but they'll love it. If you can do 140Ks, they'll love it. Not sure how much, how quickly it would get up to 140, though. Attractive effort is 260. 3,300 kilowatts. It says less power. Probably gets up to speed less quickly, but loads a heck of a lot faster. Hmm. Okay, let's go. It's a bit of a toss-up at the end of the day. I think what we'll do is we'll load in one of these and we'll stick three cars on the back. That's a $20 million train right there. Color it green. Stick it on that. There's not a lot between them, but if we're going to have this, the extra speed, I think, you know, we've got a fairly flat track, so the tractive effort shouldn't make a huge difference. I only hope, let's just speed this up, I only hope this thing can get to 140 um, in time. Let's just have a look at what speed it does. All right, so it's got to 140. Yeah, there you go. So it should run at 140 for a significant part of that journey, which I think will appeal to passengers. Um, there's nothing else. There's no other way they can do 140 Ks on this map. You know, there's no vehicle they can get in except that one. So with a bit of luck, we'll start to see people. Well, there you go. We've got people already. What about that? We have people already. So as that comes on the way back down this way, what I'll do is I'll create another one just so we've got two of them kind of alternating on the line. What have we got going on? Yeah, it's 25. Look, there's, there's definitely demand for this. This could turn to be a big breadwinner. People just love a high-speed train. You wait till we get the super fast stuff later. Oh boy, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, so there you go. We've already got the queue. We already have the queue. We've got four people coming in. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that'll pay for itself. What that will do, though, is it will start to have an effect on the bus routes. Um, this, the kind of the bus route that takes people to the station will get busier because obviously people will will get on this line here and start to, because they want to get on the train. So that will get busier. Some of these other ones may start to reduce as people start to take this journey instead. So it's all, you know, cause and effect type thing. 42 people, that's amazing. This thing's going to make money straight away. Anyway, we have run out of time, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. Did kind of plan to try and take Combat down to Sandhurst in this video, but things didn't go that way. That is now completely tapped out. Look at that. That's fully maxed. As, so it was a good job I didn't try and use it on another city because there's no way. In fact, what's going to happen is these three cities here will need more combat and they're not going to get it from here. Uh, this is uh, yeah, pretty much pretty much done. Um, but I think in the next episode we will start to tackle... There's a couple of things I want to show you. One of them is trams, obviously. Uh, another one is the... Um, the good, like the more uh, industrial goods uh, that we can do, as I, as I said before, the byproducts, the more complex goods, that's the word I was looking for. And then the last thing really is the planes, um, which I know you're all itching to see. Blimey, that's a lot of alcohol though. Hey, that's leveled up quite a bit all of a sudden. Blimey, hang on. Where are you, Mr. Train? All right, let's chuck another one of you on there. Get three going, I think. Might have to increase the length of the cars as well. Um, and there's planes as well. So all that to come. We've still got plenty to do. So don't you know worry about the series ending anytime soon because that's uh, not the case. We are definitely quite a way, I'd say, from ending this. We'll, obviously, we'll get to a billion dollars in not too distant future. But that's not going to be the end. Uh, we've got tons more. So, yeah, don't forget to sub. Leave me a like if you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, thanks for all your comments. A uh, special massive thank you to the guys joining the YouTube membership program. Uh, hit the join button if you want to join as a member and help support the channel. 
and there's a link in the video description as well. Until the next video, guys, take care. Happy transporting.